This 22,000-person town of Mondragon in Spain's Basque region is home to the world's largest worker cooperative network. The Mondragon Corporation was founded half a century ago by a young priest named Jose Maria Arismendi Arrieta and some of his acolytes. Today, Mondragon is an advanced industrial economy within itself competing in global markets. The cooperative has found a way, crisis after crisis, to keep growing. Mondragon operates under the values of participation, innovation, social responsibility, and cooperation. The critical purpose of the firm is to benefit its members rather than its shareholders. The Mondragon system is one of four case studies analyzed in the capital and the debt trap, a research monograph which summarized evidence claiming that cooperatives tend to last longer and are less susceptible to perverse incentives and other problems of organizational governance than more traditionally managed organizations. Workers in Mondragon have the right to participate in a democratic decision-making governance structure. They are given skill trainings and social safety nets to ensure sustainable employment, and they experience a work culture of solidarity and alliances. Interest in the Mondragon Corporation's time-tested model has surged. An increasing number of workers and business around the world are looking to this small town as a model to tackle wealth and income inequality. At the more than 100 cooperatives that form part of the Mondragon network, many of the workers are also owners. They set their own salaries in an annual vote and receive a share of their company's yearly profits. There are agreed upon wage ratios between executive work and field or factory work. As a rule, managers can only earn six times more than the lowest paid worker. At some companies, the gap is even smaller. Mondragon cooperatives are united by a humanist concept of business, a philosophy of participation and solidarity, and a shared business culture. The culture is rooted in a shared mission and a number of principles, corporate values, and business policies. The impact of Mondragon's vast corporate network, which employs 80,000 people globally, shows this type of business can be very successful. Many who are interested in starting their own worker cooperatives think that they need it as a new solution to old problems. The corporation's companies manufacture consumer goods, capital goods, industrial components, products, and systems for construction and services. Mondragon also runs Araski, one of the leading retail groups all over Spain and in southern France. Spain offers universal health care to its citizens and Mondragon offers its own universal coverage system. The Mondragon pension system is now well aligned and fully integrated with the Spanish government system. Mondragon retirees receive 60% of their pension from the government and 40% from the Mondragon system. In total, they receive 80% of their former salary, enabling them to retire without having to make major shifts in their lifestyle. Considering that it's gotten so big, governance is also an issue that Mondragon has figured out really well striking an important balance between the need for democratic decision-making and managerial discretion. Interest in worker co-ops tend to increase in times of crisis. For example, the number of such companies in the U.S. doubled to more than 600 from 250 in the decade or so after the 2008 recession. The objective of the cooperative is not to produce rich people, it's to produce rich societies. It provides stable employment with some wealth-building opportunities, Co-ops also have the potential to allay some concerns that underpin the Great Resignation, such as frustrations about not having a say in workplace decision-making. According to an analysis of all businesses in Uruguay between 1997 and 2009, worker cooperatives have a 29% smaller chance of closure after controlling for variables such as industry. In Italy, worker crowd cooperatives that have been created by workers buying a business when it is facing a closure or put up to sale have a three-year survival rate of 87%, compared to 48% of all Italian businesses. A study of Spanish and French worker cooperatives found that they have been more resilient than conventional enterprises. Although there are many different worker cooperatives that have a wide variety of internal structures, workers' cooperatives are organized to serve the needs of worker owners by generating benefits for the worker owners, rather than external investors. This worker-driven orientation makes them fundamentally different from other corporations, but the model is not entirely absent of inequities. The Mondragon Corporation has many businesses in 32 countries, 
and not all of those are federated cooperatives. The rest are international production subsidiaries. Workers in those other locations are not members of the cooperatives and thus do not participate in democratic governance. This structure has created a group of people who aren't owners, but whose labor Mondragon now depends on. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. World of Finance TV has videos every Monday and Friday.